I'm just enjoying like every match. Even if I don't play well, that doesn't bother me as much as like anywhere near like it used to. Obviously, I get a bit down on myself because it's you know when you go out, there, you just want to do do yourself a bit of justice. You know, it's, you don't want to embarrass yourself. You know, so um, I don't mind. You know, winning and losing is not the issue for me. It's more about you know, did I put in a decent performance? You know, did I feel like I competed and played my part in the game? For me, that's more important um, than the winning and losing. So if I can do that, you know, I'll be, I'll be happy, you know. The fans are great at the tournament, you know, they support it really well, you know, every, every match for all the matches, it's been like virtually sold out, you know, so it creates for a great tournament, you know, and especially with the two tables set up, it feels like a, a proper tournament, you know, so it's nice that, um, you know, it feels like a special tournament again, you know. Into another final mm. here at the Barbican, another final of the UK Championship, and mm. what was it like winning a seventh? Well, what were those, those feelings uh, like? How important yeah. did that feel to you? Uh, I don't really know at the time. I, I think I was just, for f different reasons, I was quite pumped to win that. Um, not for anything, for records or anything, you know. So that was, that was why I got a bit emotional, I suppose, after that one. But um, looking back, I suppose it was quite a big one because I think that was, uh, just took me over Hendry on 19 for the majors. So I, when I, the next day when I got up, I thought, oh, that's pretty cool, you know, like, that's a nice, that's a great... That's an important record, I call that one. You know. And what would it be like to win an eighth? I know you say about numbers, or win a ninth, or win a tenth. I don't know, really, I just sort of try and enjoy it and just sort of compete and, yeah, enjoy my time when I'm away, you know, that's important. And I've, I've enjoyed my week this week, even though the snooker's been a bit patchy. I've still enjoyed it, you know, I've still had fun with it. Um, you can get a bit, you know, pressure can get you a bit because then you kind of get to the business and you think, well, oh, OK, it'd be nice to find some good stuff at the important part of the tournament. Ronnie Ding Jun-Wei in the final. Mm. What a journey he's had here in York. He started off uh, the week. He was yeah. just getting out of his sick bed, turning up yeah. and almost sleeping in his chair. But here yeah. he is. He's alive again. He's like a sleeping giant, though, in this tournament. Yeah, yeah he's a quality player, Ding. You know, he's um, I played in China. You know, early start of the season, and we was always playing at the same time. And I was just watching his games, and he was so, you know, just on autopilot a lot of the time. You know, just getting through his matches, efficient. You know, making big breaks. You know, no scrappy frames. You just think he plays the game the right way. You know, he's a proper player. You know, I love love the way he break builds. Best break build I've ever seen, really, to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, he's a, he's he's always he really gets it right. You know. He wins, you know. I know you were talking about getting home and waking mm. up in your own bed on, on, on Monday morning. How would you celebrate an eighth title? Um, just a cut of Snickers bar and a bag of crisp and a Diet Coke on the motorway on the way home. That would be amazing. That's one of my one of my favourite things to do after a, a few days away on the road. I just, just dive into a, a double Snickers, bag of cheese and onion and a Diet Coke. Amazing. Hits the spot. Perfect.